I'm Abby Moser. I'm here to talk to you guys about 3D printing, how it's done, and its applications. The evolution of 3D printing is similar to that of computers, but much more rapid. The first 3D printers were slow, bulky, and took up the entire size of a desk. Today, the same types of 3D printers fit on top of a desk, meanwhile cheaply and efficiently producing unique objects. So how do you print something? Let's start with the math. Calculus lovers, this is for you. You can perfectly calculate the volume of any given object using volumes of revolution. So let's say you want a cup with a diameter of 6 inches. You can perfectly model this using the function x squared plus 1. We can then use the method known as shells to calculate the exact amount of plastic that will be used in creation. So let's integrate using limits of integration 0 to 3 with 2 pi times x, height x squared plus 1, all times dx. We end up getting an answer around 155 cubic inches. I know this is big, but it'll perfectly show you how to model any object, just like this cup right here. Next, we create the cup in a CAD file. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. We send it off to a program such as Simplify 3D, translating the file into G-code, the language that 3D printers read. And here we have it, the finished product. So I know this cup is smaller than the model, but the bigger question at hand is, so what? Cups on demand? Who cares? Well, in fact, there's a whole new realm of 3D printing applications that this cup only opens the door to. A woman suffering from headaches as a result of an abnormally thickening skull had her skull replaced with a 3D printed one specifically fitted for her head shape. Meanwhile, students at Wake Forest University have successfully printed cells and scaffolds, resulting in this human ear. Oak Ridge National Labs pioneered the printing of this unique car as 3D printers have been sent aboard spaceships to reduce launch weight, only taking raw materials rather than every possible part or tool needed to fix something that goes wrong when in space. Even the Navy is using 3D printers to print drones for surveillance directly aboard their aircraft carriers now. So 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is the technology of the future. Injection molding has its limits. It can only be used in cases of mass production and it's expensive. 3D printing allows for a uniqueness and expansion beyond conven conventional manufacturing techniques. Can you even imagine a world where any vehicle can be printed or where we can travel to unexplored planets or where organs can be available at the press of file and print? I can.